So and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? And today I have a special tutorial and it is so I went to Ulta today you guys because I've been wanting to get this palette for the longest and every time I go sold out. So today in the morning I I actually I don't know where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna check online if they have the palette in stock. And I go and I checked and all of a sudden I see it that it's available and I was just like, oh, mm -mm. I'm like kids get ready, we're about to go to Ulta and my kids hate going to Ulta. But anywho, so this is the palette and I will be showing you which one it is. I am so excited. Oh is of this one right here. A James Charles palette. I've been wanting to purchase this for ever since they came out and when it came out I did not have a chance to get it because it sold out like hot pancakes but now I have it in my hand. Oh my goodness look! I am so excited you guys. Oh it's so nice. Yes James you did not awesome job on the packaging I love it black on black so let me open it up a very quick no So it does have the names right here, so I'm just gonna have to like tape it in here. So I know the names. Look, you guys. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I love it. Oh, let's get this tutorial started. Mm. Let's get it started. It's already so moisturized, safe. and um, I'm just gonna start so I'm gonna prime with the baby cream um, from Maybelline now that we primed our face I am going to come in with the it bye bye under cream I'm gonna use this to conceal the scars I have on my face like so so yeah que estoy parchada. I'm going to come in with my foundation the Maybelline in matte and poreless in the shade 228 so now we that we are done with our foundation oh and i forgot to tell you the sponge i use obviously you can tell it's the real technique sponge next i'm gonna do my brows very quick and i am using the anastasia the grant the color granite the brow powder a duo okay, so now i'm gonna clean underneath my brows and i'm gonna use this right here it's from hard candy and it's just like a contour and sculpt kit and I'm just gonna grab this first one right here and I'm just gonna use that to clean underneath my brows. So now that we got that going on, I'm going to come in with my sponge and I'm just gonna remove any creases. So now for the start of the show, and of course you guys know is this right here and this color right here and I'm going to be using that as my transition color oh and the brush I'm using is the Morphe M441 so um, I'm going to be using that as my transition color very quick and now I'm going to do the other ojo uh, these blend so nicely I gotta say so far so good I'm going to be coming in with this right here, this one right here. Oh, and I have this brush. I apologize. It has a no name. I actually got this on eBay like years ago. And I'm going to place that in my crease. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so back with the Morphe M441, and I'm just going to add a more of the first color that we used. And I'm just going to place it back. And just blend these two colors together as well. I'm going to be trying this color right here. I'm going to come in with a Morphe M139. 
and I'm just gonna place it in my outer corner and I'm gonna drag it on my crease as well. Burning. Now I'm coming back with the second brush I had used and I'm just gonna blend. So I'm gonna get this brush right here from Equal Tools and I'm gonna get this white color right here and then just put it in my brow bone. Back with this brush and I'm just gonna blend. So I'm going to come with this color right here. I'm gonna be using my Morphe M441 and I'm just gonna grab that color. And I'm just gonna place that color right in there. Just in the corner right here, in this corner right here. And then we're gonna do that in the other eye as well. So now I'm going to do a half cut crease. And so back with this palette, we're gonna use the same color that we use for our brows. So now that we finished with the eyes very quick, use the brush that comes in this kit. And I'm just gonna press the product down and just make everything nice and smooth. Now we're gonna come back with the palette and I'm going to grab this color. I'm gonna grab this color. Oh my gosh, I fucked up with my uña. I'm gonna grab this color. I'm gonna grab this color right here. And we're just gonna place that in our lid. Here and it's the Sigma E56 brush. And I'm gonna grab that color and I'm gonna place it all over my lid where we apply our concealer. You guys, this color applied so nicely. I didn't have to add no setting spray or anything like that and it just applied very very nicely with no problems wow mm -hmm. looks good the morphe ample for one i'm going to be coming in with this color right here and i'm going to be putting it in my outer corner Right here, just placing that color right there. Let's see that. Let me get you guys a little bit more close. I'm just gonna place it right here. And I'm gonna do that in the other eye as well. I know you can't really see the color, like the glittery color, but it looks really nice. Like, once I add my lashes and everything, girl, it's gonna look bomb.com. I'm going to be doing a wing liner and I'm going to be using this one right here and it's the Camp Mon D, the tattoo liner. It's a super tiny one. Now that we've finished with our wing liner, I'm my lashes very quick. And I'm going to be using my little Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. The lashes I'm going to be using are these right here. These are the House of Lashes and the Iconic and, and it's light. The glue I'm going to be using is this one right here and it's the Revlon Precision and in the color Dark. So I'm just gonna let the glue just get a little tacky. So I'm gonna use the It Cosmetic Under Eye and it's in the color medium. So I'm just gonna leave this right here right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and put my lashes on before the glue actually dries up. And that is it, these are the lashes. Now we're gonna come back and do a concealer very quick. So for the powder, I'm going to use the Maybelline and Fit Me in the color light to medium. So now we are done with that and I'm going to come in with my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to remove the powder very quick. So I'm just going to come back with the Morphe M139. This is the one I'm going to be grabbing all, all almost all the colors to put um, underneath. So, I know I look a little bit crazy, but I'm going to contour very quick on my face. So I'm going to come with my next 
contour palette and I'm gonna be using on these two colors right here. I'm gonna come in with a Sonia. We're gonna come with my Maybelline and it's in the shade 05. And it's the fake bronzer. My equal tool brush and I'm just gonna grab this one very quick and I'm just gonna bronze up my face with this. I'm gonna get this wet and wild brush right here with this brush and I'm just gonna ooh a lot of bluish. So I'm gonna add some mascara to my bottom lashes very quick and it's the Better and Sex mascara from Too Faced to come in with this yellowy powder right there and I'm just going to come in with my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to add some brightness to underneath my eyes so I have this Makeup Forever eyeliner this Morphe setting spray and I'm going to spray my face with this brush so now I'm going to come back with the palette I want to try this one right here it's the color I'm going to use as my highlight I'm going to grab on the Morphe N510 and I'm just going to place it there as now and that's what I'm talking about mm -hmm. I'm going to come with this one right here and it's just from Anastasia in the color Spice and it's a matte lipstick and it's super tiny and this is um, the lip color so I ended up getting this color right here and I applied it in my inner corners so I am done you guys and this is my final look that I have using the James Charles palette let me tell you guys I love it the formula on this is out of this world like it blends in so nicely and I just loved it. especially the colors the colors are good they all go they all go very nicely together so yes this is the look I ended up doing I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up and let me show you guys so, I don't know if you can see, I added some of the color, glittery color right here on, on my lid. But I love this palette. I think it came out very nicely. And look at this inner corner, you guys. The eyeshadow that I used is very nice and pigmented. And look at this highlight, you guys, on that palette. So, you guys, this is it. So yes, you guys, I loved it. I would purchase it 100% once again. Like, this is a must-have. So, I mean, you do get a little bit fallout, which is normal. You even I even get it on my eyeshadows that are very, like, even high-end as well. But the formula is out of this world. Like, I was just blending with no issues. And don't forget, you guys, go to Ulta, and if you have that 20% off, that actually goes towards this um, palette and that's what I did I ended up putting my 20% um, off towards this palette and I got it a lot less and plus I had um, some points and I even got it lesser so let me breathe that's how excited I am I'm like rambling and rambling and I'm forgetting to breathe but um, yes so this is the final look like I said so you guys, this is it for my video. Before we leave, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go, 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 go. I would really appreciate it with all my heart. And click that little bell notification for it to notify you when I upload a video. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like the, um, the look I just created. And uh, yes, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next tutorial. And God bless. And I'll see you. Bye.